Hey everyone, Claudine and I here, and today I am doing a video on the Monster High Lady Gaga doll, which has been leaked everywhere online. Um, I'm going to do a makeup inspired look on this gorgeous doll. I absolutely love the doll, and I love Gaga so much. All the messages that Gaga sends out, I just, I am so inspired by everything that is taught through Gaga's music. And I'm absolutely Dying. to do a makeup look, dying to the Zombie Gaga makeup inspired tutorial. The Gaga doll here is shown without any eyebrows. And that for me, I've never been good at covering eyebrows. So this is gonna be very interesting to try to do. So first I have my Makeup Forever Camouflage Cream Palette. And I'm gonna take this red color right here. I'm gonna use that to try to cover my eyebrows. I've never ever been one to try to cover my eyebrows correctly. I've never been good at it. So this is probably as, as best we're gonna do. Worst comes to worst, we're gonna do this look with eyebrows because honey, I cannot do it without brows. I just can't, I can't. She obviously has a very opaque face. It's very, very white because um, she is a skeleton. Um, we're gonna take our Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and I'm gonna spray that on my face. Now to reduce redness on my face, I'm going to take the Sephora Bright Future Color Corrector, and this is green. And someone said, are you applying avocados to your face? And are you supposed to blend it in? Because <laughs> I was blending in the primer and they didn't realize that it was primer and not avocados. Pro tip, don't blend the avocado into your face. Just don't, don't do it. Now, taking my TV Paint Stick by Krylon. Dab that onto here to create this white face. Going down her neck, I think the doll is absolutely stunning. Dabbing in with a beauty blender. The reason I'm taking a beauty blender today is because I don't want to put on too much product and then it look really bad because I noticed with colors like this, it'll look really, really weird if you just take it and apply it straight on. It does it's it doesn't work for me at least. Look at that white beard. So I'm gonna finish up applying this and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, so now that I'm completely white and scary, I'm taking the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette and using the shade um, Black Rainbow, I'm going to create this look here. And then I might even go in with the Juvia's um, Masquerade Palette using some brown tones because it looks more brown than it really is black, so. Let's start with Burkina in the Juvia's Masquerade Palette. And I'm just mapping out where I'm gonna do this. It's, this is really very rough. Not at all, it's gonna look good. Now, the brown is, it like literally has very little red pigment like this does. So I'm gonna try to tone it down after I kind of sculpt it out. But again, this is the very rough beginnings of what I'm trying to do. Vanity, the Jeffrey's color. And then we go something like that to that effect. And then add the cheekbone contour. So now I kind of kind of have the sculpt down. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in on doing the nose, because I feel like that definitely makes the look pop. So taking the Maybelline New York Eye Studio, it's a gel liner. And this is a brown color, because looking at the doll, she definitely has a lot of brown shades as opposed to very dark blacks. Um, so we're gonna take this and create the skeleton nose. To create like this dog looking nose. And there is our skeleton nose. Looking like a skeleton already. Of course, the skeleton inspired lip and she has some things going on in her face. So we're gonna go ahead and create those little designs. It looks like she has a crack starting here. And they're very buffed out cracks. They don't look like, oh my god, well, it's a defined crack. Like it doesn't look anything like that. She has a very, very deep smoky eye going on. <laughs> So I'm gonna be using the Kai Shadow Palette just because she has that bronze kind of smoky eye going on. Stick to these two shades here.
taking my Lychee XO pigments. They're these reflective glitter pigments, and this is a purplish blue undertone shade. I'm gonna quickly swift that under my eye, and then I am going to line my eyes off camera because lining my eyes is so painful. And then taking the NYX Big Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil, I've gone under the waterline of my eyes, or on the waterline of my eyes, to give it this doll vibe look. And now I'm taking Kylie Jenner's Kylie Cosmetics Malibu shade, which is this light pink shade. I'm going to apply that on my lips and then align it using those skeleton marks. <laughs> now I don't quite like the tone that this is giving me, so I'm going to dab it with my beauty blender and the tea paint stick. It's white and then going back in with the Maybelline Eye Studio eyeliner, I'm going to line it using an angled brush. Flat angled brush. <laughs> And then who could do a look without lashes? So I'm gonna put on some lashes and then put on the completed look. <laughs> there we go, I hope you enjoyed this crazy tutorial. Doing the hands was probably my least favorite part. It was so crazy to do. Especially doing the right hand, because I am right-handed, so to do my right hand with my left hand was weird. But there we go, Mother Monster is alive, Ghoul's alive. And the new Monster High Lady Gaga doll comes out October 17th. You're probably seeing this way after the doll comes out, maybe not, maybe so, I have no idea. I want to say that I am absolutely in awe over this Gaga doll. Her face is just so gorgeous. They did such a great job designing her. She has real pockets. I mean, I'm not sure if she has like a hole in her mouth for the gum. You know, she's blowing gum, but ugh, the doll's just so pretty. And the shoes, guys, the shoes, everything. I love those shoes. But I hope you enjoyed this Lady Gaga Monster High Born This Way Foundation inspired look. Put your paws up, baby, because you were born this way. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to give it two paws up and comment down below your thoughts and click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See ya.